Hi, the next topic is hybrid inheritance. Hybrid inheritance. So, so far we have seen multi level multi level inheritance <coughs> and multiple multiple inheritance we have seen these two so multi level inheritance means from a b inherited from b c inherited like that vertical hierarchy multiple inheritance means uh, from A and B, C inheriting. That is one class inheriting from multiple classes. Now, hybrid means both together. It has both multi level and multiple. So, how is it? First, there is class A, then B, C inherited from A from A, B, C are inherited, then D inherited from B and C. So, from first A is there, then from A, B, C are inherited, then from B and C, D is inherited. So, here both we have hierarchy that is a multi level inheritance as well as multiple inheritance. This is called hybrid inheritance. Let us see how to implement this. Now, in this case, from A, B and C are inherited and from B and C, D is inherited. So, in B, there is a copy of A and in C, there is a copy of A and in D, there will be two copies of A, one from B, other from C. So, B has a copy of A. A members and C also has copy of A members. D has two copies of A members. One copy from B, another copy from C. So, D has two copies. So, there is ambiguity to avoid this we will do what is called virtual inheritance. Virtual inheritance, we will do that. Let us see how to do it. So, let us start with class A. So, it has integer a and access functions. Then let us start class b. Class b, it has to be virtually derived or inherited from a. So, write virtual. Class b, virtual public a. So, class b is derived virtually from a. Similarly, class C is also derived virtually from A. Then our class D, <laughs> class D is derived from B and C, public B public C. This is a normal derivation. So, here we can see class A is independent class, then class B and C are derived individually from A 
independently, but virtually. You should specify virtual. Then class D is derived from B and C. So when B and C, B and C are derived from class A virtually, then when D is derived from B and C, D will get only one copy of class A. That is the reason for this virtual inheritance. So, B, C are inherited from A, from A virtually. Then D will have only one copy of A. This is the reason. So this is why they have to be derived virtually. Now let us do an example on this. <laughs> so as usual it is the same thing that is protected class B virtually protected float B then B has to take an integer x float y and it has to call A with X and set B with Y locally. So the B constructor which is taking two arguments integer X float Y is calling A constructor with the X value because that is its data member then it is setting its own data that is B with the Y directly. and then show see out a space b and line similarly we have c also ditto so let us copy paste. I think there is already one C, let us delete that. So this is actually class C virtual from public A and its element is character C. So this will take integer x and a character z a x here it is C is equal to Z and in the show it has to show A and C. Now we will have class D hybrid from B and C. Suppose it does not have any data, it has only functions. So constructor, so D constructor which will take all the three, int x float y char z and it will call a with x 
B with Y, C with Z. A constructor with X, B constructor with Y, C constructor with Z. And it does nothing inside. That is the constructor of D. Then show. We will simply display all of them. So this is D. Now let us create, let us run first. Now here we are getting an error, <coughs> the error is since uh, D has only one copy of A, this is the constructor of D which will accept integer, float and character. And we are calling constructor A with integer value, constructor B with float value, constructor C with character value. So, when you are construct, calling constructor B with only float value, we need to have that constructor. But as of now, we have only a constructor with both integer and float. So, let us have one more constructor with only float. B float y which will set with y. Similarly, C has one more constructor which will accept only character. C char Z which will set C to Z. Now we call these two constructors from D. clear now syntax is ok so now all the three uh, four classes are there now let us review it once class a integer and access functions class b derived virtually from a and it has a float member and access functions here there are two constructors one with take integer and float and another construct takes only float this only float is for d so, it will show parent class and this one. Similarly, C also derived virtually from A and it has two constructors with the integer and character as well as only character. This only character is called from D. Then show function which will display A and C. Then class D derived both from B and C. It takes all the three integer, float, character and it calls A, B, C with integer float and characters values now show it will display all the values now let us see a suppose r with 10 r dot show so we created object of a show display 10. Now, let us create b or the value is float suppose 20.75 show. <laughs> okay, it is supposed to take 2. B with integer comma this run. So, in the main we create an object of B with integer and float and show run displaying integer on this one. Then C, C integer and character dollar run. Display integer and character. 
नेक्स्ट इज डी डी सपोज यू सो दिस वी हैव टू गिव ऑल द थ्री दैट इज इंटीजर फ्लोट कैरेक्टर इंटीजर फ्लोट कैरेक्टर u डॉट शो रन डिस्प्लेड ऑल द थ्री सो नाउ द हाइड्रॉक इज कंप्लीट सो दिस इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड हाइब्रिड इंटरफेस सो लेट इज रिव्यू द डिजाइन अगेन सो दिस इज क्लास ए विथ इंटीजर डेटा मेंबर एंड एक्सिस फंक्शन देन क्लास बी वर्चुअली डिराइड फ्रॉम ए it has its own float data member so it has a regular constructor with two data members that is integer and float data members and one more constructor with only float member this is for the d class because d cannot cannot call this with x because it is calling uh, x parameter directly then class c also derived publicly from a it has character data member it has two constructors with one with integer character and only with character and uh, the ca constructor with only character is called from d so function is there so d is uh, publicly derived from b and c and this constructor will have three all the three integer float and character but here it has to call a b c a with integer b with float c with a uh, character now this d has to call a constructor directly because it has it cannot call b x y or c x z because there is a ambiguity so now a d received only one copy of a directly so that one copy it is calling directly with a constructor this is how it a hybrid in, uh, interface has to be implemented